my friends. Welcome back to Big Bill Anderson's Death Tours. I'm here in Wickenburg, Arizona. It's the 15th of July, 2019. And this in front of me right here is what is known as the jail tree. I guess from 1863 to 1890, they did not want to build a jail. They were too busy mining ores from the mountains. The vulture mine is here in town. Lots of gold was mined out of this town. And this is where unruly people were locked up, chained to the tree. And here is a plaque honoring this tree as the jail tree. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this tree also. But I thought we'll do a real quick video here and just show you this pretty unique way of incarcerating in the old west. And I'll now let you listen to a few minutes of a little oral history of this. Back in Arizona's wild and woolly territorial days, they used to refer to the raucous boom towns that sprung up overnight as having everything but a church and a jail. Eventually, citizens would demand the reckless devil-may-care hellions be locked up for bad behavior. However, buildings in the Southwest were often made of adobe, and prisoners could easily escape by digging their way out through the dirt walls. In territorial Arizona, prisoners began wearing pinstripes with the opening of the territorial prison at Yuma in 1876. Also, citizens were too often busy trying to strike it rich, and they didn't have time to build a proper jail, and Wickenburg was no exception. For many years, they used this old mesquite tree as a city jail. The incorrigible reprobates were chained up to the tree until they either sobered up or served their time in the shade. One of the regular guests at the Wickenburg jail tree was a fellow named George Sayers, a mountain of a man who hailed from the nearby mining camp of Gunsight. His towering presence inspired locals to refer to him as the King of Gunsight. One night, this bibulous reprobate went on one of his usual tears, and by the end of the night, Big George was so drunk, they said, on this tangle-legged whiskey that he couldn't hit the ground with his hat in five tries. It finally took several deputies to subdue him and drag him to the jail tree. Unfortunately, when they got there, they found the tree was already filled to capacity. So they found a huge log and chained him to it instead. Well, the king spent the night in deep slumber, but when daylight came, he awoke and demanded a drink. When none was forthcoming, George began to bellow like a range bull. Old timers said his bellowing was so loud that it shook the nearby mountains, causing rock slides. Still, no one would come near him. So, Big George shouldered the log, something that would put a pack mule to the supreme test, and walked over to the nearest saloon. He bellied up to the bar, dropped the log on the bar room floor, and roared, Bartender, give me a stiff one and make it quick. He got his drink. No questions asked. This 200-year-old mesquite tree at the corner of Tegner Street and Wickenburg Way was used to detain prisoners until a lawman from Phoenix came to collect them. Phoenix is about 55 miles from Wickenburg. So you can imagine in the hot desert sun that a lawman wasn't in too big of a hurry to mount up on a horse or in a wagon and make the trek to Wickenburg. In 1890, Wickenburg finally got civilized and built a real jailhouse. My friends, I hope you like this short video on a little piece of Western history. Please subscribe to my channel Please hit the notification bell to be alerted for future videos. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the video. 
And above all else, my friends, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the new subscribers and for sticking by me. My videos are not the most professionally done. I'm still a very much a rookie at this, but I'm learning. And thank you for uh, all the new subscribers. And have a wonderful day. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to watch my videos. Adios, amigos.